I've been reading a book called Castle Hangnail. I just finished it. Oh, really? Do you like it? Yeah, it's amazing. Girls! Ninja mode! What? Now that we are ninjas, we have to be quiet for the good of the FSA testers. And here's the best part. You can be an FSA ninja too. And here's some super stealthy ninja skills. Voices are at level zero on the sidewalks and hallways. Ninjas are silent. Don't stomp on the metal ramps outside their doors. Ninjas are stealthy. Don't peek through the windows. Ninjas are never seen. Watch for these bright pink signs on third, fourth, fifth, and resource classrooms. When you see them, that means it's time for you to go into ninja mode. That way, you let these hard-working students do their very best to concentrate on their work. Ninjas are alert. Watch for the signs. And be ready for Ninja, Ninja Mode. You can't just dress out with a crazy shirt. You've got to dress out from head to toe. And here's some ways you can be whacked out. Everything mismatched. And of course, the crazy hair. Ooh, and don't forget the crazy mismatched shoes. Ask your teacher your requirements so you can earn a wacky tacky day. Spurs, I can't wait to see what awesome tackiness you come up with. And it's time to get outside. Let's get moving and raise money for our school at the same time. The walkathon is coming soon, and we can't wait. On Friday, March 19th, during your special time, bring your walkathon envelope and come meet us at the track. There will be popcorn, snow cones, music, and fresh air. And if you raise $20 or more, you'll win a dress out pass. And the student from each class who raises the most money will get to make Mr. Draper and Mr. Lawton into an ice cream sundae. And speaking of sweet treats, the class that raises the most money wins an ice cream float party. And the sweetest treat of all, the student who raises the most money of the whole school will win a tablet. It's gonna be a blast. Start getting your donations from family and friends and make sure your shoes are laced up tight. See you at the track. All right, Spurs, it's time for an art room update. Let's finish our tag art. We just finished this amazing project that fifth graders across Polk County have been a part of since 2006. 
This means that this is the 14th year fifth graders have participated in the Kids Tag Art Contest. This awesome project has raised over $1 million for art classes across the state of Florida. And it has raised $400,000 in art materials to help us right here in Polk County Schools. Talk about being able to make a difference. Each fifth grader is able to make their own unique design to be placed on a car tag. We use what Ms. Miller has taught us about use of space, color, and design to create a beautiful tag that can go on the front of a car. Two tags are chosen from each school to be put in the Polk County Traveling Exhibit so all Polk County can see their amazing tags. So Spurs, I hope when you get to fifth grade, you have just as so much fun as we did creating some amazing tag art. Because it not only helps our art classrooms, but it helps our roads and highways across Polk County look even more beautiful.